Live on the patio, finally catching up on Tomica Limited Vintage. For those who are watching later, I'm going to get started. For those that are coming on live to stream and make comments, welcome. We're going to get to this because I want to work through these. I want to see these models. I've been very, very excited to open these up. And I finally had a moment today to do it. So we're going to do it. Tomica Limited Vintage March. I believe this is the March um, release. Japan Booster sent it over. You want to go down into the comments for sure because Japan Booster, there's, there's their website where you can pre-order upcoming releases. I think they're up through September, October at this point, and there's some amazing stuff coming. And then you can buy, this stuff is already out, so you'd need to go to their eBay store, which I have a link as well down there. I'll show you that there's quite the vibe here. There's Edith the dog right there, just chilling on this beautiful spring day. We'll see how long she lasts, but she's, uh, she's enjoying life to be sure. So we're just out here on the patio enjoying life, and so I thought, well, why not just stream, open up some cars, because I need to do it. I want to check these out. Highlights are for sure the GTR. Uh, they've done a Skyline R32 GTR. They've done one in a special GTR packaging and then the normal. We'll move that off to the side. I've got two buses. I've got one huge truck, but let's just go ahead and start with these two. This is the two Toyota Supras. We have the so Toyota Supra 3.0 GT Turbo. Has some pieces that you can add. I don't do that. And then the Toyota Supra 2.0 GT Twin Turbo. I think the bodies are the same. The models are slightly different. Those are their proper names. 106E and F, yeah. So this will be the same casting with some slight differences. And what I'm gonna do, why don't we just open these up pretty quickly and then we can put them on the turntable at the end. That way we can kind of situate the camera instead of going back and forth. So we're just going to get to these. We'll, we'll do some close-ups here in a minute. They have that piece right here that you can add to them. Like I said, I don't do that. Just to keep things intact, it's kind of hard to do. Not hard to add them, but just, you know, just to kind of keep track of them. These do have the side mirrors, though, which makes people happy, I think. We'll get to those in a second. While I'm opening, I guess I can say hello to people. I know some comments have come in. By the way, we'll be, I have the part two of the Hot Wheels Premium videos debuting tomorrow morning, next two. So you can, that's scheduled, so you want to bookmark that. Let's see, where are we looking at? Here we go. Subaru Impreza Sports Wagon WRX STI version V or 5. Same title, same for both these. And these have like racks you can put on the roof. We won't do that either. So, but this is cool because these get the those signature gold rims. Oh yeah, we'll get we'll get some close-ups here for sure. Excited to have a look at that. I don't see. Oh, they're in. The, it's in there. I was like, does that? Did they not come with it? It's, it was just trapped in there. There we go. Ah. Found three of the supers, the Dotson Wagon supers on mainline card. You'll have to send me a picture. There is this one. It's silver with the gold rooms. This is sweet. I know a lot of people are gonna be really into that. We'll get we'll get into those soon here. Question, how popular do you think the Barracuda RLC will be? You know, I don't know. It's hard to say. It depends on how many they made. And um, it depends on I mean it, it it should, RLC is kind of a different monster. People, I don't know, people have different expectations for it. And so I think it's great that they're doing it. Do some muscle, do some JDM, do some Euro. So not, you know, it's not going to cater to everybody. People didn't really dig the Javelin, which I, I was bummed out about, but 
That's okay. All right, this is, I shouldn't even mention, this is the Isuzu Erga. They've done quite a few. This is already letter G. The way Tomica Limited Vintage, I didn't even talk about this, but the way Tomica Limited Vintage does it is if they have the same casting, they just put in new, new decos. They, ha they stay with the number. This is obviously Limited Vintage N, so N stands for Neo, then 245, so this was number 245. I think we're already, like... Like this one is 308, so you can see how this has been around for a while, but they've already done, you can count, what, A, B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that's, what, the seventh version of this, of this casting. I don't know what, because I can't read the Japanese, I don't know what livery this is, or what, you know, what city that, but this is based on a, you know, a city bus for somewhere in Japan, I don't know. I can't. I mean, there might be something on the model when we look at it, but. So we'll take a look at that here in a second. As I've said, all of the Tomica Limited Vintage are to scale, 164. So, oh, as we've always stated, if you were to see a Subaru driving next to that bus, that is exactly the proportion they'd be in. And as I've said before, too, one of the things that's so different about Tomic Limited Vintage 2 is that, and I don't know if this remains the same because I think it would be harder and harder to do, but as they do models, um, they like to have the actual car, maybe not colors, of course, but actual car in studio so they can work on it as opposed to just going by specs. All right. Here one, here's one that I is brand new. So a new bus casting, Mitsubishi Fuso. Aero bus. DL's asking, how do you get one of these mats? This mat sold out. Um, this is the first Lamley mat I did with Dream Customs. The next one coming? Details soon. You should be able to get it. Um, all right, so this is LV300A. Obviously, the 300 means it's very new. Mitsubishi Fuso Aero bus. I'm assuming we're going to see more of these. Ishitsuka. I, I wish I knew how to pronounce these better, but I can't. But there's the back of this one. I These buses that they do, again, the most of the collectors that I deal with, you know, want the cool cars and the sports cars and everything else. Tommy Columbia Vintage does some of those, as we'll get to in just a second. But, ooh, wow, this is crazy. This new kind of packaging. But this kind of stuff that they do, these buses, are just incredible. I mean, we'll already, I mean, I can show you the details on these. They're just, and we'll get more to it, but. Just really, really cool. We'll put that here. Figure out that packaging. We'll, we'll deal with, we'll get these all close up as we go. This one, I, let's just see what the deal is with this one, and then we'll get to the GTRs. Try and get it in the shot, but this is another a truck, and this is 290. So this is the second version of this Hino Profia, Profia, Profia tractor with the 40-foot container trail trailer. So I might do like more of like a short on this one with a little bit more detail, but let's just uh, let's take a look at it. I'll, I will open this up. There's the back of it. See if the container, <laughs> excuse me, see if the container is metal. But this is huge, and like I said, totally to scale. And you always want to make sure you open it right. There we go. Ooh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's definitely a metal container, that's for sure. S 
so it looks like remove this. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that is quite the color. Ooh, it's kind of rubbery down below. This is awesome. Okay, we'll get that off to the side. Are these costly? Um, there's no way around it. Yes, they are. They're, the trucks especially probably go, I think, over 100 bucks. Here's the trailer. Here's the cab. Move that off to the side as well. So, let's have a look. But depending on what you know, what you like to collect and stuff, these are worth it. If you want the best of like, and there's some good companies doing trucks. Mini GT's got some really good ones. Um, I've been dealing with first gear a little bit. I'll be doing some more first gear. How do we get here? We go. So, all right, we'll start here and then we'll we'll just get this while we're here. So you've got here's the back. This pivots a little bit. Cab is fantastic. Here's the bottom, we got the rubber tires, all those details. Little connector pieces. So put that down, there's that. And then the trailer, I shouldn't even show that, I didn't even show the trailer. Trailer is metal and there might be, those might be plastic, but that's to make them a little, look a little more precise. Diecast promotions good makes good vehicles too. Okay, that's awesome. Good to know. All right, so that goes down like this, and then we have this cab or this trailer, and it is heavy. Got we'll open up. I'm gonna keep that there, that little piece there, just for now, just to kind of keep myself organized. But you've got these pieces that will it'll fit into, right? So, I'm assuming, let's see how this fits. A, B. There it is. Yeah, fits right in. Boy, that is fantastic. All of a sudden, there's a ton of weight on this truck. It's going the wrong way, but whatever. So we'll move these in front here. Move this back. Make sure that is. Try that again. All right. Yeah, this thing is great. I can put it, I can maybe, well, I can show. I wonder. I just want to make sure that stays steady, but you can look on the inside here on the cab. You can see the details there too. I hopefully I sometimes with the camera on the YouTube, it's a little different, but but super detailed there too. Really, really excited about that. All right, so Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec. Two of those. We'll get to this one in a second. This one is in black. These are, these are exciting to see because I know a lot of collectors you will want these kind of cars. You know, sometimes some of the cars that are just road cars from Japan. Collectors just, you know, in Japan they love them, but sometimes collectors here want very specific sporty cars. But you're going to get stock versions of these. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, but, like, the, like you're going to get a factory version of the GTR. That's what we've got here with those wheels. So it's not in nothing modernized, lowered, or anything else. I'll show you this package. This is to celebrate the GTR, obviously. 1994. Oh, this is the R33. I said R32. This is the R33. My apologies. All right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Got that wrong. Blasphemy, right? They did the Autech earlier. Maybe I'll do some comparisons of those. But there is that one. Okay, so let me just kind of seal this up. All right. Cool packaging. Super GTR. All right. So let's do some. Let's see if we can do some close ups here. Not as much as, not in how I typically do them, but I'll give it some treatment here. All right, let's start with the Toyota Supra. You guys can tell me which ones you like here too. So this is the uh, 2.0, or I'm sorry, the 2.0 GT Twin Turbo, right? And then the other one is the 3.0 GT Turbo. So I'll try and get you some close-ups on this. Blue interior, blue body, obviously. This is a casting that's been done before. This is, what, F and G, I think, on this one? F and E, E and F. And this one, I always mention they do have shocks. which always makes these just that much. Some people don't like that you have to add some pieces and I get that, but you still get a pretty much the, I think the best in terms of like when overall die cast, like from the models, the looks of the models, the scale of the models, the quality of the models, and the features like, you know, the fact that these roll so smoothly, have the shocks and everything. It's just, I mean, it hits every, every checkbox. I've seen some collectors that have really kind of gone after this brand, say, so, you know, it's not what it's all cooked up, to be, uh, cooked up to be, and they just don't like some certain things about it, I guess, but I think that's just more a reflection of some people just wanting to make the comments that they make. Here's the white one. There we get a little bit more of a close up, that works. So I'd, I could pull out the other models. I think I've got them in storage now, but this is pretty standard for the Toyota Supra, right? For this generation. Obviously, we know Hot Wheels is doing one, so that's coming soon, but yeah, these are, these are great. Okay. Let's do the Subarus. So I'll try and do, well, let's just see if we can go close up. I mean, maybe you can get a sense of the interior on this one. You've got, um, what year on this Subaru? I'll look it up. Let's see. You've got some trim on the seats, if you can see that. Again, I don't know how well it comes across, but. And while that one's going around too, I can show you like, you see how they've done the two-tone interior as well, or at least the middle console and like more of a silver color. Got the brake calipers in there. I mean, it's, oop, it's pretty cool. I mean, these are great. These wagons are just fantastic. Let's see, what year? Let's see if I can figure that out here. Maybe 98? Right there, is that 98 there at the end? Maybe. Pretty sweet. All right. So already, I mean, I, like if you look at these, and I know I'm in my kind of chill spring mode, but I mean, if you look at these cars here, like I think this is down collector's alleys, right? The Supras, again, if sometimes I show the sedans and stuff, the cop cars, they're not as, there's not as much interest, but these Subarus and these Supras are great. And now if we go into the 
R33. So this is, again, same thing. Look at this. Yeah, so there's there you have E E Tusco. Sorry if that's if I'm saying your name wrong. Some people say they just don't have the passion for them. I, I you know I can't argue anybody's point. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Or if you're not into it, this was a brand that I ignored for so long, and now I probably have one of the largest collections in the states at least. Um, only because what it is is it's the individual pieces are fantastic. But sometimes from a collective where you just see these classic cars that you learn about, that kind of education element to it is it's something special. But they are expensive. They are specialized. And so I can't argue it, but I do know that there are certain collectors that are very passionate about the brand. And when they do take on a, like a casting like this, like the R33, I mean, you've got, like, for example, I know a lot of people here I can pull out. I know a lot of people would rather have the Kaido House version, right? And, in fact, if you want to, we can... Here, should we do that? I haven't opened this one yet. Might as well. We can compare them. You can see, like, the differences. And that's what's so cool about, you know, you get the Kaido House, which is highly modified. Um, is there another outlet to buy them besides eBay? They're sold in Japan if you have friends in Japan. I would, I really do recommend... There's a lot of stores that sell them. But here in the States, if that's where you are, I'd highly suggest Japan Booster. Not only my partner and I, I, you know, take that for what it's worth, right? They're a partner of mine. But, um, so I will promote them. But at the same time, they do offer a minimum, uh, if you buy a few and you know, partner up with a friend, they do offer free shipping anywhere in the world. So, and there's a minimum, I think it's 50 or 70 bucks, something like that. Here, I'll, um, let me just put this up for a second. So we can do this comparison of the Kaido House R33, which I understand there'll be a lot of passion about, versus this one. Obviously, the quality on both is going to be extremely high. All right, so here, let's move the camera down again. I mean, obviously, two very different styles. opening hood on the Kaida house. We'll get to that in a second. But if you want to have the highly modified plus super factory, it's like comparing Hot Wheels and Matchbox. Yeah, in a lot of ways it is. I would agree with you. But I don't know if you can appreciate, in my opinion, is I don't know if you can appreciate the Kaido house without appreciating this. Now, doesn't mean you have to own this one, right? But understand the origins of the R33. And then you have the Kaido House, you know, take on it. So, I think that's cool. I'll go in tight here. Not a bad comparison, I don't think. And obviously, if I were to put this on, say, Instagram or something, you can imagine the two different opinions. People, Some people would say, oh, yeah, the Kaido house is way, way better than that ugly factory model. And then you'd have the other opposite, like, oh, I'd much rather have the factory, the clean version. That Kaido house is super ugly. Look, we all have our opinions. I mean, you can definitely appreciate both, right? You might have a preference, but it's cool to see... It's cool to see um, that, you know, that spectrum. That's what's so fun about collecting. That's why it's like, I've said this before, maybe I'll address it a little bit more. I, sometimes I see some of the complaints that people have. Like I, I post a Hot Wheels car and they're like, oh, why not, not, why not just get a Mini GT? Well, Mini GT is very different than what Hot Wheels is doing. So, but the answer to that question is why not just get a Mini GT is, okay, go get a Mini GT. If that's what you want, you don't have to tell anybody else what to do, but go get a Mini GT. If you don't want the Hot Wheels, you'd rather have the Mini GT. That's what's so great about it. So. Anyway. Yeah, I don't see any reason to hate in this world. I mean, like, and, I, and especially in the hobby world and the diecast, I just don't. I mean, there's some, there are some 
bad players, you know, people that rip other people off. I get all of that stuff. There are um, there are models that will surely disappoint, something you're looking forward to, and it just didn't come how you wanted to. Like, that's a thing, too, of course. But to have hate for brands that are putting in that time and effort, I just, I don't get it. And I always, I've always compared, do you, when you walk into a toy aisle, do you literally look at every car from one side to the other and give your opinion about it? This is ugly, this is cool, this is ugly, I hate this, I like this, I love this. No, you walk to the stuff you're interested in. If you're interested in the premium, you go to the premium section. If you're interested in the Hot Wheels basics, what do you do? You flip through the cards until you find the one you want. You don't literally stop and complain about everything. No, you go to the stuff you like. That's how I do it. So I'll take out the cars that I like and I'll show them. If I don't like them, I don't show them. Anyway. That's what's collecting is why, that's why we do collecting. All right, we've done enough of that. Let's do the uh, purple one here. I guess that's purple. Let's look at the box here. Where is, I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't really say, I'm looking at it here. No, that's the silver one that came in the box. Let's see what this one says. They sometimes will, I would say that they're calling that purple and not black. So that one's really nice too. And I, like I said, you've got one of the great details here is those brakes and great brake palette calipers. Hard to see here because of the depth here in the shadow, but, and of course the stock or the shocks. Pretty nice. Okay. We can go to the buses here. We'll just have to stretch out a little bit. I don't know if they'll fit on the, yeah, they will. So I'll give you these close-ups best I can. You've got like the schedule here. Driver. Always detailed on the bottom. The wheel spin is like an M2. No, I wouldn't say so. I mean, oops. See, that's my fear here. Um, no. Here, if I can. <laughs> there. Sorry. Get this up a little bit. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. All right, that bus, we did that one. So that's more of a classic bus, and then you have this new one, which, let's see if it fits there. It might roll off too, but. Here we'll get out there again. Um, considering, yeah, if you want to call it an all right spin, it's not gonna spin like a Hot Wheels wheel. But for rubber tires and all these details, and it runs smooth. As a matter of fact, here, I'll do something for you here. I knew that would happen. There we go. But you've got that bus too. Here, I'll show you. I don't know if this will work, but here. So obviously I've got this kind of rubbery soft, but if we put it here, on the on the metal you can kind of get a sense of how they roll let's say that's pretty smooth so can't get much better that's for sure in terms of quality on those all right i think i've done it all Little Kaido House bonus. I think we'll maybe I'll do some sort of feature with these two. Might be kind of fun just to see what the opinions are from folks and just kind of get a sense of what people think. Because I think they're both interesting. I think they're both cool. All right, guys, that was an easy one. Japan Booster. You can go. Um, 
JapanBooster.com to pre-order. You can see what's coming up in the in the in the future months, and then you can and then you can go into the other link down below that to eBay if you want any of these that are already out. The truck's fantastic. Just let me know, you guys. Tell me what you think. See which ones are uh, I wanted. I'd like to know which ones you're most interested in because I'm always interested in what collectors want to get. You guys can tell me in the comments below. Thanks, everybody. Bye.